This time, Zark, and in this video, we are looking at trig identities. So there are two trig identities that we will be learning today. However, there are more to come in future videos. But the first two to look at is sine squared plus cos squared is equal to one. And at the moment, just remember this equation and we will use it in some questions coming up. And the other one is tan theta. Now theta and x are normally interchangeable and you can use them whenever you want. However, for this one I've used theta and tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So again, remember these and we will now use them in some questions. So the first question we have is tan x plus one over tan x is always equal to one over sine x times cos x. And in order to use, do this one, we are going to use both um, previous identities that we saw. And the first one we saw is the sine x over cos x is equal to tan x. So we're just going to replace this tan x with the sine over cos x. And it's worth mentioning that we're not going to touch the right hand side at all. This is always going to stay the same. And we're basically going to make the left hand side equal the right hand side without doing anything to the right hand side. Sometimes if it's much easier, we would do the right hand side equals the left hand side, but normally it's just the left hand side equals the right hand side. But one over tan x is therefore going to be equal to cos x over sin x as we're just flipping it around. This is also equal to cot x, but that's for another video. Now, in order to do this, we're going to do something called the TP method, which is basically timesing the bottom two and then doing the top two and then this will equal so if we times cos x times cos x which is this one here then we'll have cos squared x at the top and then the other one to do is the sine x times sine x which is plus sine squared x now hopefully we're already seeing another one of the identities there. But at the bottom, we'll just do this bottom part of cos x times sin x. And because in the answer it says this, sin x, cos x. Now, therefore, when we're looking at this, this is going to be always equal to this one here. And we can find that cos squared x plus sine squared x is always equal to one thanks to our thir first um, trick identity. So therefore, all we do is replace that with one over sine x times cos x. And that is your answer for that particular question. So the final question to answer is one minus tan squared x over one plus tan squared x. And that has to be equal to one minus two sine squared x. Now this is a slightly harder, but we can still use the same identities that we used in the first question. And first of all, we know that tan x is equal to sine x over cos x. That means that tan squared x is simply equal to sine squared x over cos squared x. So therefore, we can change this to 1 over sine squared x over cos squared x. And then this will be over 1 plus sine squared x over cos squared x. Now the hardest part of this question comes next because we have to find out how to simplify this further. And what I would do is I would make it one over one, which is just one, minus 
sine squared x over cos x. cos squared x. And then using the same TP method that we used before, where this, this, and this, we can manipulate this to make cos squared x minus sine squared x over cos squared x. And we can do the same thing to the bottom as well, where we'll just do the 1 over 1 plus sine squared x over cos squared x. Instead of writing it all out, I'm just going to do the, this has the answer of sine squared x plus cos squared x. So you can see it's slightly different because it's plus instead of minus. That's the only difference in this. And that's going to be over cos squared x again. So they both have the same denominator. Now, as they both had the same denominator, and it's this one is being divided by this one, it basically means you can cancel the denominator. So this is therefore equal to cos squared x minus sine squared, that's an x there, sine squared x all over sine squared x plus cos squared x. Now, therefore, this can cancel and instead we'll replace that with a one, which basically means that our new thing that we're working with is just cos squared x minus sine squared x. And we're trying to get this into one minus two sine squared x. So what we then want to do is um, cancel this cos squared x. And what will change this cos squared x is, is because cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to one, we can say that cos squared x is equal to one minus sine squared x. Now that means that one minus sine squared x minus another sine squared x is equal to one minus two sine squared x. Now this obviously looks familiar as it is the original thing that we were trying to prove. And as you've done all of these steps, you've therefore got the same answer and therefore you have proved that identity. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.